It's cool, rich, lustrous and light. The Maheshwari is really the perfect addition to your wardrobe. But what most people don't realize about this popular weave is that it is a young weave which was developed in the 18th century thanks to the efforts of an enterprising queen Ahilya Bai Holkar. The city of Maheshwar was the capital of Ahilya Bai Holkar from 1725 to 1795. An astute ruler and administrator, Ahilya Bai transformed Maheshwar into a commercial hub inviting traders and artisans from across the region. Weavers were brought in from areas like Mandu and they created the special weave inspired by the city that they called home, Maheshwar. The queen gave them incentives and appointed officers for a steady supply of cotton and silk and encouraged experimentation. The most prized Maheshwaris are a mixture of silk and cotton called the Garbhareshmi. That adds lightness and lustre that is ideal for the hot summers of the region. In fact, under royal patronage, the Maheshwari soon emerged as the most sought after weave, especially in the Maratha courts across India. Later, however, as royal patronage ended, this weave declined only to be revived again in the late 1970s in Maheshwar. Thanks to the intervention of people like Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay and Ahilya Bai's descendant, Richard Horkar. The Reva Society was formed in 1978 with a view of reviving the Maheshwari and employing hundreds of women. Today, these Maheshwaris are as popular as they once were. Looms like these in Maheshwar are also innovating and developing a range of products that you can find on People Tree.